I'm gonna run back and see if I can get some video of the beehives and just check on the uh, that hive one I've been a little concerned about hive one in the live show I explained that uh, it seemed like hive one was probably not doing well so I'm gonna I'm gonna put my bee suit on and run back there and just check that out see how hives one two and three are doing I'm not bringing a bunch of tools out because I'm not gonna do a full inspection I'm really just gonna get in there take a peek and see how the bees are doing let me know how I how I should proceed you know going through the rest of this winter which I don't know if it's gonna get cold again or not the bees have been flying around while I, while I was out there working on the chicken coop I saw lots of bees so I knew it was a good day for the bees plus I'm out here in a t-shirt so that tells me that it's a comfortable temperature for the bees just to be safe I am gonna get a, a fire going here in my smoker just check the direction of the wind before you do that During my live show on Saturday mornings, one of the most popular questions I get asked every week is, how are the bees? Well, this time, this week, when I explained how the bees are, I, I shared that Hive 1 possibly is not doing well. And uh, I'm gonna show you, before I get into any hives, I'm gonna show you how I determined that, and then we'll see if I was right. I hope I wasn't right. I really have to make a door or a gate on the apiary, the bee yard. Climbing under that thing's not getting any any more fun. Right now, hive one. I do see a few bees coming and going. This is hive one right here. So the fact that I see bees coming and going is one positive sign. At least, you know, hopefully it's the bees that belong here and not robbers. But let me show you that trick that I do in the winter time or whenever the weather is not conducive to uh, getting into the hive. Sometimes I just want to come out and check them out. So what I'll do is I'll come out here and I'll put my, my ear on the hive and I'll give a little little tap tap and normally you can hear the bees starting to rev up and uh, they still didn't hear so maybe those that are coming in and out are robbers meaning that they they're from other hives and they're just taking the resources out of this hive but we're gonna go ahead and crack the top of this one hive one and we'll see what the condition of the bees are. See what the condition of the bees is, is or are. We have a little, little puff at the entrance. My fire's not going real well. They're starting, okay. Little puff at the entrance. Ooh, just about stood in an ant nest. Those fire ants, terrible. Oh, there are some bees. It is a little breezy, but it, it's a decent temperature. All right, so I do, there are, there are plenty of bees in here. So it looks like hive one is doing better than I thought it was. I won't keep it open for very long. Take a frame out of the end here. And that one has uh, really nothing built on it. It's still empty. The bees are very docile right at the moment. I really didn't even need the smoke, I don't think, but sometimes they surprise me. So they are on there tending to that honey. Both sides, honey on both sides. 
So I checkerboard the honey frames. So I think hive one is doing okay. As I look down in there, looks like there's plenty of bees. They're all just kind of hanging out, not doing a whole lot, just, just doing their business. So I'm not going to dig in here. I don't have a lot of daylight left. Just scanning from the top, it looks like they're okay. There's plenty of bees. They're all doing their job. But let's check out hive number two. The tappy trick. I call it the tappy trick, but it's really just a sound check, I guess. Putting your ear on there. And I can hear them. So they're probably fine, but we're going to crack the lid just to see. I don't see a lot going on in the entrance. There's a few bees hanging out there. smoke's not really doing anything I can't even the way the breeze is it's just lifting it out it's not even getting in the hive at all so we'll just take a peek yeah so this this activity looks pretty good The weather has been mostly not good for beekeeping. That's why there hasn't been a lot of beekeeping episodes on my channel. I got a lot of propolis in this one. And that's, that's an empty one. And I can see that they are building and there's lots of bees in the bottom down here. Can you see that? You can't even see my hand. There's not a lot of bees in this box, just enough to kind of take care of that honey that's up there. But in the next box, the middle box, that looks like there's quite a few bees. They got some decent honey on there. I left some honey on from the summer because I wanted to make sure they had plenty of reserves for the winter. I didn't know how, how bad the winter was gonna be. You got a little bit there. All right, I have three frames out. Let me give you a peek in here. You can see that big honeycomb up here. That is on a uh, foundationless. So that's all honeycomb built to the size that they desire. It looks like it's drone, a size for drones because the cells are bigger. A lot of bees in there. It hasn't really been freezing cold except for a few days, but generally speaking, I like to be very respectful of the weather for the bees because I don't want, they work really hard to keep the inside of the hive a certain temperature. And if it's not a very nice day and you come and take the lid off, then all of that effort, the moisture and uh, the moisture level and the temperature level that they worked for uh, goes right out the roof. All right, so hive one and two still look pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go check out hive three. It's probably gonna be a pretty short inspection, a pretty short beekeeping video because uh, everything, you know, I'm not gonna dig in yet. I need several good days in a row to feel like I can get in there and, and do a full inspection. I like to come out when the weather is quite comfortable. Sometimes that's not possible. But here in Texas, a lot of times it is. So this is hive number three. I can see a few bees from the top. It's 
one that's empty. Got a little bit of comb on that side. Now see these, this hive sending a few more bees out to see what's going on. They do have some honey. Now they're getting a little more aggravated. So that's a good sign because they're, the hive is strong, but it's mm. bad sign for me yeah. if my suit's not all closed uh -huh. up. All right, there is no need for me to get in here and aggravate these bees a whole lot. I've already aggravated them by opening the hive and standing here and talking. So we'll just close it up. So for this Saturday's live show, if you're on there, the answer to how are the bees is gonna be right here in this video because between now and then, I'm not gonna be doing any more uh, beekeeping. It's probably best to just leave those lids on until sometime later in January. But I do come out at least once a week and observe the hives and put my ear on the hive and see how they're doing. Hive 1 surprised me this time. I really was expecting to see uh, very few bees in Hive 1. I kind of thought they swarmed up. You know, sometimes on a, a good day, the bees could swarm and uh, leave the hive. But I'm glad to see that didn't happen. So now hives one, two, and three, glad to report, are doing well. The horses are doing well too, which is also a popular question in the live show. You can't see it too well with the sun there. But Maggie, oh, how you doing, Maggie? Oh, she's a sweetheart. How you doing, girl? And Teo. He's a sweetheart, too. Hey, kitty, kitty. Well, hopefully I can overcome those challenges that I ran into on the chicken coop and get that video done. That project, you know, if, if everything goes well in the end, it's gonna be a pretty cool little chicken coop. Today for the beekeeping episode, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you being a part of my story. And I also appreciate you letting me be a part of yours. All right, I'm off to edit video. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.